Hey, welcome to another episode of Just Try It DIY. Uh, we got a new uh, lift here to put in for a friend of ours. Um, we're going to go through kind of how it gets put together, uh, some of the tips and stuff that we did not see on the uh, instructions on how to do this. Um, I will go ahead and blast the uh, the uh, model number and stuff for how to do this and then we'll kind of go through some of the stuff we've ran into so far. Let's get started. In the instructions here we found out that as we started putting these together um, it doesn't really say anything about making sure that this cross member piece is put in before you put in the rails, before you put in the top or anything like that. So um, as you assemble this make sure that the, the rails go in between your uprights first and those get installed. Then you can put in the, the slotted rack for the uh, adjusts for the lock-in and the uh, top pieces. Now I'll go up to the top here. The instructions do not really say very good, but the top corners do not face out towards the outside. They're on the inside corner to get the, the cable to line up better as you go down through this. All right, one thing that we did notice that was kind of confusing on the instructions was how this piece got all put together. The, uh, this is the release rod for the, uh, for the safety on this. As it goes up, it'll lock into place. When it comes down, you gotta release the safety. This is what was really, really confusing. It took a little while to understand exactly how this worked and everything, how this was laid out. So um, we're gonna zoom in here a little bit on this and see if we can figure out, and I'll show you a little bit how this works. So right here's the safety, or the, the uh, safety release for the uh, lock. This is how this piece is laid out. The longer, thin rod that goes across to the other side. These bolts that go through here do have a little spacer in, in, in behind here. And then there's a, uh, a lock uh, screw bolt, nut, nut. Then we got this short rod that goes across. These inside of here, you got a little, uh, they thread into the release mechanism on the inside. And this goes across. Now one thing you wanna be careful of and make sure as you're doing this just as a safety precaution is to maybe have a safety jack or something underneath like we have setting here just in case for some reason somebody would happen to hit that release there's no hydraulics or anything set up to this so make sure that that you do have some kind of safety set in here this is the threaded rod for the release that goes from the front of the lift to the back it connects in two spots underneath the main rail so this is very similar to the setup up in the front. Um, you have these bolts here, come in the back side, come through here, these eyelets. There's a lot of adjustment and everything on these. I got the other side already in. So trying to get these lined up, go straight on there. That nut will then come down, tighten into there. We'll put on these. outside. Like I say, right now we're just loosely fitting this stuff together so that we can make any adjustments we need to later on. On that side, we will set the bolt through there. Get started here. In. You can see I need to put it on there a little too far, so not a big deal. Just realized uh, put these on the wrong way. The uh, this one goes onto the top, this one goes on the bottom because they're not lined up on the other side. The uh, this rail going through the eyelet in the center was really bowed, so make sure it does go on the top. So here's a shot of the instructions on how to put this guide bolt in, but we had a heck of a time trying to figure out exactly which way it went in. And if you look, this is looking from right underneath the post, looking straight up underneath each corner. And you thread it from the inside and it goes to the outside. And that keeps that cable in place. So after we hung the power unit on the post here, Got all four bolts in, secured it into place in the back here. 
um, hooking up the uh, brass pieces to go into the power unit. There's two pieces here that go in here. This is the way we um, see this is gonna go in with the, uh, the angled uh, 90 going on the last, and then the, uh, the, power, the uh, hose from the, from the uh, rail come up and attach into here. You get the point. You do it all. Four sides. Four corners. All right, so we found out on this here, as we pulled this up as high as it would go, that actually the route of the cable was not in here correctly, and it will not allow it to come back down. The uh, cable needs to come in. There's a second pulley that's right here that grabs a hold of your main uh, support as it sets on here. So this cable's got to come up and kind of make this S and come back around and then through the top. So we had to take off the, the uh, brace that holds this piece in, the, the main pulley. We're gonna pull it back through. This is the easiest way we figured out how to put this in here. Pull this back just enough to allow the top to come off. Now, so this, I can pop this off real easily. And I tried not to move it too much, but as it come up, You'll see this cable right there needs to come around on this side to release that. We're gonna pull this. This is a bolt down here that keeps the cable from popping out also. We get it out of the way. Now all we gotta do is just bring this back down. This cable will keep stay in that pulley. We'll bring it right back down into place. Pull it back down. Try and give myself a little bit of slack. There we go. Some slack to get that pulley back in there. And whoop. Well, we got everything done with the lift and everything turned out great. Um, hopefully uh, you learned a few things and maybe when you get to put your own in yourself, uh, you won't run into some of the issues that we ran into. So, uh, hey, next time we'll uh, we'll see you again. And uh, if you like this episode, you know, hey, give me a thumbs up and hey, hit the subscribe button down there and uh, we'll see you next time.